I'm Justin Turberville, and I'm a songwriter. I play guitar, piano, drums, all that stuff. Uh, I like to make records. The name of uh, my new record is Underneath the Shroud, and I guess the name is kind of, uh, it comes from the feeling of uh, being underneath a blanket of just kind of bullshit, everyday life, everyone's trying to sell you something. Uh, a lot of today's music um, all seems like a blanket of just shit. So um, I feel like what I'm doing is something pure, something pure and um, underneath the shroud, the blanket of just garbage. You know, there's actually something meaningful if you search for it. So that's what the name of the record is. And that's what it means. I recorded the new record, Underneath the Shroud, at, uh, at uh, Old Elegante uh, Records. And it's in Birmingham, Alabama. And it's a great studio. Uh, you should go there. It's pretty damn cheap, too. The, the album was produced by Lester Newby. And he is just awesome to work with. Uh, he takes really long cigarette breaks, which is cool because it gives me like time to build up just enough anxiety to, you know, uh, focus on the song like I need to, but it also gives me a break from, you know, the fingers and the voice and everything. So he's really fun to work with, real laid back, lets you do your thing too. Of course, I played most everything, drums, keys, uh, guitar, all that stuff. Christian Falmer played on uh, the new album. Christian played so many things, guitars, keys, uh, just a gong at one point. It was it was really crazy all that Christian could do. And uh, without Christian playing on this record, I believe the record would, would suffer after hearing what Christian put to it. Everything, it's just so beautiful, everything that Christian added. Uh, also, Joseph Cody, on the last song, laid down the bass. Uh, we all played live together in the room on the, on the last song, and Joseph Cody played bass. Joseph is really amazing. Um, really hard-headed, but hard to work with, but really good at bass. Actually, Jason Hamrick mastered the new record, and uh, Jason Hamrick is, is great at mastering, just amazing. Uh, everything is uh, is in Birmingham, Alabama, by the way. Jason, all Elegante Records, Lester Newby, all in Birmingham. So Birmingham bands, seriously, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get your stuff mastered and recorded with us guys. Hope Runs Out is just a song. I was at my girlfriend's house and just playing on the guitar and it just came out and um, but I feel like maybe uh, the feeling of God is attached to it and everyone you love just existing here on earth, the experience, I think is what that song is about. Jazz Talons is uh, Christian Fulmer was just sitting behind this old organ I believe was made in like a million years ago. Uh, Christian sat behind the organ and started just doing all these buttons and beats and just that came out and thank God Lester Newby was recording because uh, that was just an amazing little thing that happened and I love it. Lamb Praise is uh, it's my fuck you to people who try to leech to me and make me feel like shit for just being myself. Uh, want something from me all the time, but criticize every little thing I do. This Could Be Your Autumn is uh, directly about my mom not sticking around and uh, you know, just wishing she would have st stuck around, stayed a little longer. Uh, I've seen her quite a few times. Uh, I've met her a few times in my life, and it was a beautiful thing, and I love my mom. 
but that song is just a, 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 a longing for my mom, basically. Throw Me Under the Bus is, uh, it's, it's a really complicated song. Uh, the way it came about was kind of in my head, in a nightmare, I believe, or something like that. And I uh, felt like a lot of people, a lot of people really get to me and just bug the shit out of me. So uh, I think that song is, is just about, you know, touring and wanting to get the fuck out of here and do something with my life, with this music. Uh, and, you know, Throw me under the bus is just a saying, and I'm not sure how it ties in with that, but uh, the lyric, one of these days I'm gonna get on the bus and run, is just kinda like, it's a warning to all the people that fuck with me all the time, but it's also a statement about uh, how passionate I am about this music and wanna go and spread it to as many people as possible, so, yeah. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> you Ain't the Sun is, uh, it's another fuck you. It's about uh, an ex who basically, uh, you know, in relationships there's a lot of good and bad, but during this particular time, it was really bad, and uh, you ain't the sun. I don't spin around you, basically. Lifting the Shroud is a little piece of music that's basically an intro for the next song on the record. And it's at the point of the record where I feel like the shroud of shit has been lifted completely because I'd like to think the music is just lifting all that shit. Like heat rises, you know, something like that. So by this time in the album, you've gotten good and just maybe all that stuff's out of your head uh, and maybe something pure is there in your heart and you're listening and you're really digging it, hopefully. Phantom of the Fuck It is just insanity, and I love it, and I'm pretty sure it's about murder, and maybe something worse, um, Christian Falmer's vocals, uh, the additional vocals on that, you should really listen for, they're so creepy and awesome, and I'm pretty sure I talk about a pumpkin at some point, so that's kind of cool. That Will Be Dumb is funny, uh, the, the name of the song I had to fight for because the producer Lester thought it was pretty dumb, so, uh, but the, the song is, is about doubting, maybe possibly doubting the return of Christ, it's, it's, uh, it's about that. I, I really highly doubt there will be a rapture. Uh, I don't doubt the existence of Christ or God at all. But I doubt, I doubt there's going to be any sort of rapture or return. Paper Trail is a very, uh, just, just very vibey kind of song. Um, everything was done live in the room during that song. Um, it's just a beautiful thing where Christian played drums, Joseph Cody was on bass, and I was on guitar, and we were just live in a room, and what came out was a very, very um, beautiful thing, and um, uh, I was really angry at Christian, and I broke my guitar at the end of that performance. Actually, I think I have it right here. This is what happens when your, your buddies piss you off and you're in the studio. And, uh, but what came out of it was something that is captured forever. And uh, it's just too bad this guitar had to be sacrificed for that to happen. 
The artwork for the record, uh, Underneath the Shroud, is, is done by Paul Wilm. He's a local artist here of, uh, in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, you know, there's that shroud of garbage, just uh, all the shit, you know, in the world, and you know, here's something little, just pure, you know, like coming out of it, and uh, I, think, uh, I think the world is ready for something real, and Paul beautifully captured what I was going for, and I think that's me, I'm not sure, I think it's supposed to be. I think this is my little heart with an arrow going through it. And uh, it's pretty accurate. Uh, my heart's pretty broken, so. I think the main thing I want to accomplish with this album is kind of what I've been saying the whole time is I want people to hear something real, something pure from the heart with zero bullshit attached. Um, there's no playing nice, there's no holding back, there's no rules to follow when you're doing something pure, you just do it. And what I want to accomplish more than anything is I want all those people who are out there like me, that are listening to all this crap and just going, today's music, most of it just really fucking sucks. And I want something that is really real again and not fake. And there are a few bands that are doing it. There are a few bands that are, a few artists that are, that are doing something pure and awesome. And I want to be a part of that, and I think I am. And I think I have accomplished what I want to with this album. And it's just up to everyone else to receive that and just let me in, because I think I have something really great to offer. And uh, with this new record, I really do. Uh, I hope you dig it, I hope you listen to it. And uh, show your parents, I bet they'll like it. Because there's a few influences from, you know, pretty old stuff like Loggins and Michael McDonald on there, you know, Phil Collins and stuff like that. So uh, I think there's a little something for everybody. Even the metalheads can get into it in some spots. So I think there's something for everybody. I think uh, I have accomplished what I wanted to do with this album. Thank you.